Okay, here we go. Let's try another video. If you're a chosen one, I want you to know that God has been humbling you your entire life, even starting at a little boy or little girl. This is really cool. Maybe you didn't know it back then. Maybe you didn't realize it because just like myself, we were too young to understand this yet. But God has been showing me that he's been humbling me my entire life. I remember when I was a little boy and I was walking down the street, two other boys from school were walking by me. Their names were Eddie and Chris. And even though this was 45 years ago, I remember it like it was last year. And as we walked by, they stopped me and they started to cause trouble. We were just little kids. And they started to threatening me. And I remember Chris. Now, Eddie was big and kind of tough. And Chris was small and short. And as Eddie was trying to bully me, Chris punched me right in the stomach and knocked all of the air out of me. And I couldn't breathe at all. And thank God that they just teased me and walked away and that they didn't beat me up anymore. Many years later, <laughs> I'm going to school. You know, Chris is in my school. Same guy. Chris is the short, small guy. And school ended and I went to the basketball courts. My girlfriend was there. Other girls were there. And Chris was there. And Chris challenged me to a game. And I was much bigger than him at this time because this was a few years later. This, this was many years later. And I was stronger than him and tougher and better than him and everything else. And once again, my girlfriend was there watching other girls and this and that. And I was thinking to myself, I'm going to destroy him in basketball. So we started playing. Everybody was watching. I should have beat him easily. You know what happened? God ordered that Chris would win. And he was making crazy shots and sky hooks. And he was only five feet tall. He was a short, skinny little dude making crazy shots, and I'm here missing layups and missing rebounds and missing open jumpers. You see, God has been humbling us our entire lives. I joined up a baseball league when I was a teenager. Um, I was the best player um, in the entire league, and our team made it to the championship game, and in the championship game, playing second base, I dropped a pop fly. I dropped it, a pop fly. And if that wasn't enough, I dropped a double play ball. The other team, they hit the ball to short, shortstop. The guy threw the ball to me at second base. I dropped it. You see? God has been humbling you your entire life. This is big. This is huge. Being more humble is super, super important. I remember in high school, there was a, a young lady I liked. You know, we were 17 years old or whatever, maybe 16, 17, 18. Her name was April. It was lunchtime. There were hundreds and hundreds of students sitting together at lunch in the open field. I decided to take a chance. And I walked over to where April was with her girlfriends. I tried to say hello, and she shut me down in front of everybody. 
People were laughing at me. People were pointing fingers at me, if I remember correctly. You see, God has been humbling you your entire life if you're a chosen one, your whole life. One more true story. I entered a pinball um, contest. You see, I was very good at pinball. I mean, I was fantastic. I was incredible. And I entered this huge pinball championship contest. It was held at a 7-Eleven in Los Angeles. Lots and lots of people were there. I made it to the semifinals. Do you know who won? Chris. The same guy who 10 or 12 years earlier punched me in the stomach. A couple years later, I moved out with my girlfriend when we were 18. We moved into our own apartment. We got jobs. I found out that she semi-cheated on me. Guess with who? Chris. You see, I had a lot of pride, and I still do today. A lot, a lot of pride. I was fantastic in sports. I was really good in fighting. I was very tough. I was good looking. You know, come on, we don't need to go into it all. I had a lot of pride, and I found out a little later that that my girlfriend, fiance, I thought we were getting married, that she kind of semi-cheated on me with Chris. Satan is not the one doing this. It is God ordering this through his son, the Christ. They are ordering these events to crush our pride to help us to be more humble, to crush our ego and to get rid of the self-righteousness. This is God doing it and it is wonderful and it is fantastic and we need this so badly. We need God to do this. We need it. We got to be more humble. For those of you who have ears to hear, hear what God is saying.